Most of our days are spent looking at screens, be it working from home on a laptop or a desktop or tapping away on our smartphones. That's why today I decided to bring you guys 10 apps that can help you get the most out of your Android device even when you are on a computer. Hey guys, Omurta here from C4E Tech and if you do end up enjoying this video then please subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. Most of us have to type in a PIN or a password to log into our computers multiple times a day. Well, not anymore. With remote fingerprint unlock, we can now use the fingerprint sensor on our phones to directly log into our computers. We have a free version of the app, but I would highly suggest upgrading to the pro one as it has support for multiple PCs and profiles as well. We can also have a widget on the phone that we can tap on directly and then enter our fingerprint to unlock the computer. Do keep in mind though, for this app to work correctly, we need to download and install the Windows fingerprint unlock module. Link to that is in the description. And on top of that, both the PC and the mobile needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Moving on in the same vein, we have the MeFit app. Wait, what? What's a fitness app doing in here? Well, if you're on the latest version of the app, then going into profile, clicking on Mi Band 3 or 4, only works with these two devices as of now, scrolling down to labs, and now we can toggle on unlock Mi Notebook with Band. Click OK, and we are ready to unlock our computers with our Mi Band. Well, almost. On the PC side of things, we will need to download the Mi Blaze Unlock app from Microsoft Store. Sometimes it doesn't appear for regions outside of China. So then we have to go into Windows settings, change the region from India to China, search once more, download and install the program on our PC, pair the Mi Band and our PC over Bluetooth. Now bringing the Mi Band near our machine should unlock it instantly. Should because as easy as the method is, it's kind of finicky at times. Most of us use Windows 10 PCs. So let's now take a look at the app that's built right into the OS. The Your Phone app from Microsoft helps us control our phone even when we are on the PC. So we can get notified, read incoming messages, send texts, view photos, and even receive and make calls. Microsoft also keeps strolling out new updates to increase the functionality of the app, with the next big one supposed to bring music controls of your smartphone right there to your desktop. And if you have a newer generation Samsung device, for the purposes of this video, we are using the S20 Plus, then your phone app can even mirror the screen to the PC. And we can use the standard keyboard and mouse, or trackpad in this case, to control our phone. So what about phones from other manufacturers? Well, the fourth program on the list is Screen Copy, and this lets us mirror our Android screen directly on the PC. So there's no APK here for us to install. We just have to get the EXE from the link in the description, set up USB debugging on the phone, connect your phone and computer together with an USB cable, and then input the commands that are being shown on screen. Now there are a couple of things to note here. First, since the connection here is wired, we have very good latency, so we can even play games with it. And number two, the dev has been hard at work fixing bugs and adding features constantly. So do be on the lookout for newer improved versions. Now that we have seen a couple of apps that let us control our phone from our PC, let's turn it around and look at an app that lets us control our PC from our phone. Chrome Remote Access is the perfect app to do just that. Considering the fact that the connection is completely wireless, the latency here is very impressive. The controls are pretty responsive as well. We can easily switch between pointer mode and trackpad mode to control our PC, and there's even support for gestures. And since the access is initiated through a pin, we also have an added level of security. And with that, we are at the halfway stage of this video. So if you have been enjoying it thus far, then please drop us a like. At number six, we have Theme. There are loads of apps out there that lets us transfer files like Zender and even share it. But what makes Theme unique is that it works as a chat service and a file transfer app at the same time. Theme helps us keep tabs on previous file transfers easily. Since it uses Wi-Fi Direct, the connectivity is quite stable and we get decent data transfer rates as well. My favorite thing about Theme is that we can send texts through it and it's pretty nifty since it makes cross-platform copy pasting very easy. There are some ads that pop up once in a while, but if we can look past that, then Theme is pretty useful. Oh, and the best thing, Theme is completely free. Now, our next app turns our phones into a gamepad and our PC into a console. The great thing here is since this is a browser-based app, we can pretty much game on any hardware. So even older PCs work just fine. First, we have to install Air Console on the phone, then hop on to airconsole.com on the PC, enter the auto-generated pin from the smartphone, and we are in. 
It doesn't matter what Wi-Fi we are connected to as long as we have a working internet connection. It connects instantly. There's a decent collection of single player and multiplayer games. We can even connect multiple devices and play with our friends. The only thing to note here is that we need a stable internet connection so that everything runs smoothly without any major lags. Air Console is a great way to kill time as long as there's decent internet connectivity and you're comfortable using the phone as a gamepad. On the topic of using our phones as controllers, Transmission Remote app can be used to control torrents on transmission on the PC. We can add and manage torrents remotely, so even if we ever forget to put a torrent on download before going out, Transmission Remote is a lifesaver. Also, the authentication can be protected with a username and password. The main selling point here is that we can search and download a torrent file on our phone and then the actual downloading through the P2P service takes place on our home computer. So no more waiting for Wi-Fi or accidentally blowing up our data allowance on torrent downloads on the smartphone. Now a lot of the time when we need to copy something from our phone to the computer or vice versa, we end up mailing or sending it as a text to ourselves. That's where ClipCloud steps in. It's a very light app on the Android side of things and on the other side, it lives as a Chrome extension. So the best thing about it is the cross compatibility. Works on Windows of course, as well as Mac and Linux. Now obviously we showed you guys the Theme app before and that does have cloud clipboard functionality among other things, but ClipCloud is a much more smaller app and it doesn't need to be installed separately either. As for the final app on our list, we have joined by Joa apps. Now this one can seem a little daunting at first, but once we got the hang of it, Join is really, really powerful. It combined a lot of features into one app, like we can reply to notifications like a WhatsApp message directly from our PC. We also have deep levels of Tasker and Google Assistant integration, which means Join is immensely customizable. Overall, a great app for people who'd want to do a lot more than just access their phone's notification from their PC. Well, that's all the apps that I have for you guys today. Which one of them did you enjoy the most? Have you tried any of them out before? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you did end up enjoying this video, then please like, share, subscribe and all that. Oh no, turn on notifications for more such awesome tech content. Thanks a lot for watching till the end guys. Have a good one. Cheers.